All right, folks, live from Santan Valley, it's me. All right, so we're gonna take a look at this 2,500 square foot floor plan offered to you by Meritage Homes. If you're in the market for a new home, definitely give me a call, we can make it happen. So we're just gonna take a look around and see what this little beauty has to offer. That's a little creepy, but hey, to each his own. I love these light fixtures. These are nice, I like that. Okay, so we're gonna swing around. We just came in the front door. This is the very first bedroom when you come into the home. So I like how this was done. So this one is actually a bedroom. It could have been an office as it's the front, you know, the very first room you come into, but it was turned into a bedroom. And I like how it's done with the bunk up top and you still have the space at the bottom. So it was a very good use of space here. And then <laughs> this is cute with the wheels on the wall. Very nice. So you can actually live in this space and then take a look at the closet. Nice size closet for an extra bedroom. So definitely liking what I'm seeing so far. So we're going to come out of bedroom number one. I'm going to take a look. I love these floors. Take a look at those. And then we're going to swing into bedroom number two or office number two or den number two. Whatever you want to make it. This is bedroom number two so far. This one is, again, I love how this is done. You've got a couch area so this can be a seating area for the children so they can um, have their own space in the house or if you need to it has a closet so you can make it into a bedroom they basically turned this one into a den mounted walls and every I mean mounted televisions and everything on the wall I love again what was done with this space so we're gonna head into bedroom number three and then we're gonna come back to the bathroom look at this so this room is actually big enough to fit two beds in so again, if you've got two girls or two boys, you can put them in one room and now you have that extra room, i.e. that room there, to turn into the den for the children's area of the home. So love, again, what's being done with this house so far. And the closet, even if you needed to have the children share, is not super small, so everybody can get their fair share of space in here. All right, so we're going to swing out of bedroom number three and head into the living portion of the house. We're going to turn the corner. you got the long entryway so people can actually ha ha he he as they're going down your long way. And before we get there, look what we've got here. I've got my laundry room so it's centrally accessible to everybody in the house. Sinks already included. I've got um cabinetry in here i can come in here and actually close the door and not feel like a, i'm in a box so that is cool here's bathroom number two with a shower and one sink so you only have one sink in this one but again this is like an extra bathroom so not that big of a deal that's probably going to be the bathroom that your guests use here's bedroom number four so this is either bedroom number four or if you turn that one room into a den, this is bedroom number three. One thing I can say about this house, very good use of space so far. We haven't gotten to the whole house yet, so I'll reserve judgment on that. So we're going to swing back around and go into the living room area. Now is where it starts to get kind of fun. So look what we've got here in the living room area. You got the dark cabinets accented with the white or lighter countertops. The oversized island, which gives you more seating space for dining. You've got an actual formal dining area towards the back side. And then here you have the living room space. All right, so that's the living room space. I'm gonna take a different angle here. We'll get out to that pool in just a moment. And then here's another angle of the kitchen. So this is a kitchen with the walk-in pantry. And then again, this is how far I am from the front door. So what that also means is I'm that much further from that den area for the children. So again, noise should not be a factor in this house because of the way the house is situated. 
So we're gonna take a look in the master bedroom. I love this headboard choice here. The extended headboard that goes all the way across. Super cute. So the bedroom is about the size of the model that we just visited, but it's still a nice size floor plan. Now is where you're gonna get that tub that we've been waiting for. So you got a tub with the floor to ceiling shower stall. We've got separated sinks in here. So it's a his and hers or hers and hers or his and his sink situation over here. Got a decent sized closet. This is not a bad sized closet at all. There's one of the sink, um, sink areas there and it's the exact same sink area on this side. Here we've got obviously the toilet room and your linen closet. Ooh, it's actually a walk-in linen closet. Didn't see that coming, but I'm happy it's there. And then one more look at that shower that goes all the way to the ceiling and the soaking tub. Very, very nice. So we're gonna head back out now to the backyard area. These are, these would be placed on oversized lots. So as you can see, this is what your backyard area could potentially look like, depending on how you want to set it up. I'm gonna try to figure out how to get out this door. Apparently I can't. So we're just gonna have to look at it from here. So there's the pool there. And then from the pool, you've got a, what do you call that thing? Over there, um, outdoor grilling area off to the side for entertaining purposes. And then you actually got enough space in the patio area to put another dining table if you wanted to as well. Maybe we can see it from this angle. Let's take a look from over here. So we're gonna swing and take a look at this pool. Beautiful. All right, so I have information about this community, um, the HOA fees and what they have available, what they have coming available. So if this is something that you would be interested in, please give me a call, 623-207-7146, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. But I definitely wanna bring you out and show you what these homes have to offer. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.